remember when we first were looking at the cam the photos on the screen? I wish I filmed my reaction because it was just like, oh, so childlike. I was just like, oh my God, look at the colors. Every image just looked like fine art to me. <laughs> What up, baby? I'm Kitty here with the Tola Visuals, and today we have the Leica M11. And this is my first impressions. Let's get into it. My favorite thing about the M11 is it actually got me really back into photography, like what I love about it so much. And there's no autofocus on here, so you actually have to manually focus everything. You have to like sit, like think of your image and think of your composition and really dial all the settings in like it was a film camera, even though it is digital. Was there a problem with having no autofocus? Um, honestly, I've been trained on manual focus, so it wasn't too difficult for me. I'm sure if you start off with autofocus, it might be a little bit of a challenge because this is a uh, Range finder. There's also the screen here and you could turn on focus peaking if you want to do it that way. So no, I did not have problems. It just took a little longer than normal because you can't just point and shoot. Not only that, it's a Leica. So the colors just out of this camera are freaking amazing. We were like reviewing all my photos and I'm like, wow, damn, look at the yellows, look at the greens. These are like the colors that I tried to grab on Lightroom from like other cameras that I can never accomplish for whatever reason. But the Leica color science is freaking. Here's examples. Oh, by the way, all these photos are from the pre-production model of this camera. And the lens I was using is a 28 F2. Leicas always inspire me to shoot. I'm always so excited when I have a like in my hands. I just wanna go and take pictures of everything and anything, just like how I used to shoot when I first got into photography. And that's the reason why I fell in love with it so much is that I could just go about my day and show you like what I see. Do you remember when we first were looking at the, cam the photos on the screen? I wish I filmed my reaction because it was just like, oh, so childlike. I was just like, oh my God, look at the colors. Look at, like only a fire hydrant would look good on like a Leica. I was like, look at the freaking architecture with this wood and the construction, it looks so amazing. Like just every image just looked like fine art to me. Ah, <sighs> Leica. I could just feel like the passion they have towards photography and the people that shoot with them and their optics are just incredible. If you thoroughly enjoy image quality, color science, and you don't wanna like over edit your photos and you want it like straight out of camera looking spicy and good and ready for a print, then definitely Leica is the way to go. And hopefully everyone in this world who cares about photography and or video feel like shooting on the like SL, they get to try it one day because it's just beautiful, it's magic. But let's just hear this shutter real quick because it's awesome. Ooh! Oh, there's also two different colors. We got the classic silver one, but it also comes in black, which is actually lighter. Different colors and different weights. We were shooting on this for like a week. I noticed that the battery life only went down to 45% left. Whatever they did to pack this with power, they did a good job. This has internal storage, which is crazy because I took it out of the box and I was like, you know how you instantly want to just shoot stuff even though there's no card in it? I shot something and it saved it and I was like, wait a second, is there like an SSD in here or like a hard drive? That was my instant thought. Little features like that are incredible. All right, that's it. Sadly, we got to drop this off and pack it up now, but hopefully we'll see you again soon. That's it. Here's my first impressions and hopefully you enjoy. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all the things, and I'll see you when I see you, fam. Mm, done.